What's up, everyone? This is Tech Trooper 64 and today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation VR and the possibility that it may be compatible with PC in the future. Speaking with Nikkei, Sony Computer Entertainment Executive Vice President Masayasu Ito said the company's home console has a lot in common with a home computer, enough to the point so that bringing a PlayStation VR headset to the PC is a possibility. Ito elaborated that such a jump wouldn't happen anytime soon, and Sony is not ready to make any announcements at this stage about such a feature, though he did add there will be expansion into various fields. Well, that is actually a pretty good thing, but to tell you the truth about PlayStation VR and all that, it's great that in the States PlayStation VR is $400, but to tell you the truth, I'm not going to be investing in VR. And the reason why is because, long story short, the Canadian dollar sucks here in Canada, and PlayStation VR is not cheap. In the States, PlayStation VR costs $400, which is pretty reasonable. However, PlayStation VR in Canada costs $549. So trust me, it's not a walk in the park for us if we want to just experience the cheapest VR, which is PlayStation VR in this case. And the Oculus Rift, don't get me started, it's $750 in Canada. It's crazy how these prices are so high here, but for that reason, I don't think I'm going to be investing in VR this year. I might. I can't confirm if I will, but if I do, that's great. If I don't, oh well, I'll invest in it later. So yeah, but to tell you the truth, it's great that PlayStation VR might be getting support for PC because that's pretty good potential news for VR customers on the PC side of things. If you want, you know, just to buy a VR headset for cheap, and you don't want to pay the full Oculus Rift price of 600 bucks or 700 bucks. it's, you know, you don't have to do it. You can just buy the PlayStation VR and plug it into your PC. That'd be cool if Sony does make it work. So what do you guys think of the comments down below? Let me know. Do you think you're going to be picking up a PlayStation VR come hol this holiday season in October, or are you going to skip it? And do you think that Sony adding compatibility with PC with PlayStation VR is a good thing or a bad thing? Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.